It's described as the biggest Belt and Road project in the Philippines. The 407 hectare reclamation site in Manila is aimed at being a smart city. And this new Manila Bay City of Pearl was designed by Hong Kong based architectural firm HBA. In terms of the location, the ingredients from the Belt and Road initiative, I would say it's definitely the most uh, scalable project that we have done so far. And the reason behind it is from day one, President Duterte and President Mayor Estrada has given us a clear brief. They want a world class city, but they do not want just another piece of real estate. Indeed, the scale of the project, bringing together a business district, a railway, commercial and residential facilities, and even a stadium, provides a new dimension to Belt and Road development. We decided that this project with the Manila government is for social mobility. It's really to create a city that can give rise to current and next generation of Filipinos for them to have a chance of moving forward. For HBA, the project brings some 37 years of international architectural, engineering and development experience to bear. When we started designing it, the first thing that we talked to is not the planning regulation or the authorities, but actually the operators the potential banks, the potential enterprise, and universities, medical, you know, medical uh, institutions to see how we can form collaborative relationship before the design starts so they can feed in their input into our master plan and vice versa. Such smart city developments, including sustainable power and highly convenient transport access, offer a model for Belt and Road success. Smart City is going to be the backbone of the Belt and Road, especially it is the perfect kickstarter or activator for any emerging economy. And Smart City is not only cheap to build, it is a visionary platform for enterprise to have the flexibility and have the sort of powerhouse in terms of financial infrastructure for them to springboard the economy into the next decades. HPA is also involved in a major Belt and Road infrastructure development in Thailand. Thailand, the Eastern Economic Corridor, they announced the EEC about five or six, seven years ago. And now with the Belt and Road Initiative, a lot of Chinese and Thai businesses are coming together and trying to activate such a zone. Because the EEC essentially is a special economic zone filled with infrastructure and trade development opportunities, starting Pattaya. Uh, myself and a lot of our collaborators are actually exploring and kicking off a project, airport or high-speed related. With an accent on the right partners, whether public or private, HPA is closely looking at belt and road opportunities in the Middle East. Middle East is definitely the second step. We have actually done projects in the Middle East, in Abu Dhabi, Ras Al Khaimah and Dubai before. And we're very interested to, to go back again. For HPA, Hong Kong is the center for design and innovative ideas. Belt and Road is the kickstart spot that every emerging economy requires. But how to get it moving, that is the tricky part. And they need professionals, especially from Hong Kong. Why they choose Hong Kong consultants or professionals is because they know we have an international outreach. We have always been global. For us, we act as what we call like a conductor of an orchestra for Belt and Road Initiative. New Manila Bay. City of Pearl. City of Pearl is a visionary new integrated CBD in the heart of Manila, a city within a city, a revolutionary self-sustaining smart community beyond any international benchmarks today, redefining the Pearl of the Orient. New Manila Bay, City of Pearl, is located at the heart of Manila, a shining jewel in the ocean. The city is connected via a main boulevard with a loop road network, with advanced driverless railway system circulating throughout the entire district. The inner ring features the Central Park and Golf Course, while the outer ring looks out onto a breathtaking panoramic ocean view. Water taxis connect the North and South Islands to other districts in Manila. Forging an international community with commercial, residential, convention, healthcare, tourism, education, and sports hubs. A true Asian metropolis. Designed to become the first smart city in Southeast Asia, with artificial intelligence integrated into the smart grid, providing real-time optimal efficiency, 
centered around sustainable design, using renewable energy like solar and tidal power to ensure effective energy production and consumption. Empowering Walkable City Guarantees 20 minutes targeted travel time. Reducing district's car usage, the main boulevard. Elevated rail and water taxis provide multiple transportation channels to resolve traffic congestions, ensuring 30 minutes travel to the airport. The 10-kilometer waterfront promenade surrounds the entire island. Combining sea view frontage with green open spaces. Iconic skyscrapers, cluster of grade A commercial, convention, five-star hotel and retail property all synergize to create a new CBD effect. The three-kilometer themed Riverside Shopping Street, tucked under the Central Park, redefines community retail experience with revolutionary entertainment concepts. Pac-Man Stadium, an all-weather multifunction sports stadium, features Manny Pacquiao, the champion of the world. An 18-hole golf course caters for any international tournaments. From low to high-rise residential units, ensuring each unit enjoys a unique view of the ocean and golf course, pushing new benchmarks for luxury living. Large-scale five-star healthcare and international education institutions provides a one-stop lifestyle heaven for modern living. Marina Yacht Club integrated with an all-weather water park by the beach, combining international competitions and destination tourism at the heart of the Bay Area. The new Manila Bay, City of Pearl, creates a smarter community. A revolutionary new benchmark for urban living placing the Philippines at the heart of today's global stage. The true pearl of the Orient.